Bismillah min ash-shaytani r-razim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder to myself, and I abdik al-ajis al-da'ifu, miskeen, zalim, jahal, but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. And alhamdulillah that Allah guides humanity and sometimes humanity may catch up with its understanding of guidance through their sciences and through their understandings. Means that in science we were talking the night before with the gentleman here, in science they discovered when they studied light and what they call quantum. So quantum sciences was their study of light or what we would call the malakut, the world of eternity, that which is eternal. And when they studied the light they understood that the reality of the duality of light, that when they darkened a room and they put a piece of paper and they put two holes on that paper at the end of a distance, they darken the room and they put out a spectrum of light. And when they watched the light in their experiment, it always went through one hole because there's two at the end of the paper. And they did that and did that until one time they decided, well maybe let's not watch it. We'll turn the other way and we won't observe it and let's do the experiment and to their surprise the light went through two holes. So they understood now, their sciences started to open on the reality of the duality of light. And once to their amazement that light was reacting to them. It was reacting to its observation. When it deemed itself being observed, it stayed within the confine of its particle existence. When that light was not observed, it went into its wave format and was able to go through two holes when it wasn't being watched. This is an ancient reality. Means Allah's realities are ancient and taught amongst the Prophets and the saints towards humanity. And every so often Allah releases a permission in their sciences to understand as a guidance to bring people towards a reality. So when they're studying that every light has a duality, has a particle and has a wave. And the tariqah comes to teach from what Prophet had brought and perfected this science of light, this science of reality that you have a particle existence and you have a wave existence. The particle existence is that which people observe. But the science is telling people, no we also have a wave existence. Means you have a form of light that is moving, they barely understand where it's moving. And that's just the light of you, imagine then the atomic reality of you, the electrons of you, how are those exactly within a very defined orbit? And what happens if you try to move one of those forcefully? Everything so defined and so perfect but for us on this subject of the duality of light this is the, the teaching of tariqah. That if you want a particle existence this is your mulk, your form for us to understand and make it simplified. Or do you want to train in your light reality which we call the malakut and the heavenly reality. And everybody has these two realities but it's based on observation. So what they understood from their sciences, this is the teachings of tariqah. 
as much as people observe you, you remain locked within your particle existence. And when people don't observe you, you can enter into your wave reality. So that's why then the tariqahs come and teach people that be nothing. So this concept of be nothing was so that they could reach their reality. Means that you have these two realities but if you're not opening them, your understanding is only of a very physical nature and you lose the whole concept of your spirituality. You lose the whole possibility of your spirituality. Wave? How could wave even be understood that your wave reality, how fast can it travel, where can it be, what would be limiting its reality? Your wave reality would it only be moving within this plane, within this dunya, within this galaxy, within this universe? Means the potential of our understanding within the wave reality, the light reality of insan and people is limitless because we still don't know what Allah has created. How many infinite creations and galaxies and universes and how much of that light of yours exists within that galaxies and those universes. And if all of those are under Muhammadun Rasulullah the one who knows himself will know his reality, know his Lord and will enter into the Muhammadan light that encompasses every aspect of this university, universe. Not only the dunya, not only the universe but everything within the heavens. Every angel is in a Muhammadan light, if Prophet give to you access within the light, that within the reality of not only finding yourself but entering into the Muhammadan light, that you can enter your light into the reality of the different malaika to understand their reality. So if everything has a light and they're teaching that this is all a Muhammadan Rasulullah by knowing yourself you'll know your Lord and means you'll know what governs you, you have the potential of every, entering into every aspect of light from all its planets and all its universes and all of that all the way into the sama and into the heavens. From into the heavens Baytul Mahmur, into the Arsh, into the angels, into everything that is created by that light. So when you take a light, you shine another light and you see how that light diffuses within the light and it enters into it. If Prophet gives you the code to go that allow your light to move within my light to understand everything, that it's all created from his reality means then the potential and the limit is limitless and that's why it's a timeless reality. If we stick within the confines of time and particle and form, very limited dunya, very limited existence, uh, life that doesn't even touch a, a drop of its reality. And so then Allah was sending guidance from the heavens to teach them your duality but didn't use these scientific words, taught them be nothing. Why? escape the observation of people. So the tariqah comes and teaches you have these two realities, everyone has these two realities. But if you're raised in a way that you want to show yourself, identify yourself, propagate yourself, Facebook yourself, Instagram yourself, what's shaitan doing? He's making sure you're completely under observation, right? Because he knows these two theories. He knows that this person will never reach their reality if they're under observation. So now 99% of all creation is making themselves more observed. 
Even some guy in the middle of, oh, I don't want to insult anybody, a, a village of anywhere, he has a mobile phone for some reason and he's posting himself. You could he'd be on a rickshaw with nothing, just has a mobile phone posting himself where nobody would have observed him. Shaitan plays with him that observe, let people to observe you, you will never reach your destiny. So then taruqs come and teach, if we know that this law and this reality that if you're under observation, you're held by that observation, right? If ten eyes are looking at you, you're held by it. You didn't reach your reality. You're just held by their observation. Their observation is like frozen you from achieving anything. So tariqahs would come and Prophet was teaching, be nothing. Be nothing, hide yourself and move yourself from the eye of people. Blessed are those whom understood to hide their reality. Because tariqah training is not that you become a particle and then propagate your particle, you'll never reach your reality. And the particle's power is very limited to its material understanding. Hmm? Only through your wave, if you're trained through your wave reality where you broke it, you broke the observation that you isolated and secluded yourself from the eyes of people and the eyes of, of observation, then they began to teach you and seclude and seclude and that to open your wave reality. Only at the wave reality your light is moving into their realms, into their hearts and into their souls and into the oceans of realities and knowledges which are called Muhammadun Rasulullah Each shaykh is a custodian of a Muhammadan secret, each secret separate from the other, no two secrets are the same. This is Azimatullah, Allah doesn't recycle. He says, I have to have two secrets, one for you, one for you because I'm short on secrets. Each reality Allah uniquely different than the other and all of them its key is Sayyidina Muhammad Only through the wave reality means that only through casting your light into that ocean and into that reality you can begin to move through it because that light is an energy and energy is not destroyable. An energy picks up its residue everywhere it goes, right? So the light bulb here we're talking, the energy here says, I went into a light bulb, I experienced that. I went into a nuclear power plant, I experienced that. I went into a mobile phone, I went into a TV, it's the same electricity, it's just moving and experiencing everything that Allah wants it to experience but it picks up the residue of what it experienced, it keeps the knowledge of what it experienced. Now the light which is far superior than electricity is that when you enter into your wave reality and your light reality, your light goes everywhere, it's diffused into everything. Based on that you are like a Google that whatever you're asking from that light it's moving into what's in Tawfiq's heart and immediately retrieving all his information, right? You're not encrypted. Now they understood in their computers they want to do that. They want to make your computer into a node, into a hub. And they want to take everything off of your information and your database and your hard drives and they want to use a billion computers for computing, not one computer. Allah said, oh what do you, we had this long time ago. Means that if you move through your soul, you're moving through the light of everything. And wherever it moves they go, they move into your heart and into your soul, you're not encrypted, you're not locked. And through your heart and soul they know what you're wanting and what you're asking. You're happy, you're sad, you're mad, you're glad. It's all written on your lights, you're not hiding it. And whether that's why they say, oh when we, we log on we ask the question, we already got the answer. Well the one who gave you the question 
and the one answering you is the same, it's all from the heavens. It's all been already established on a world of light and those whom operating from that light they're just sort of moving within that dimension. What knowledge has to be brought, the light moves into it, picks it and immediately by the speed of thought and light that light is retrieving that knowledge back. So it means everything is happening in the wave reality. If the student achieves their wave reality, they achieve everything. What they would call ulum al awwaleen wa akhireen, why? Because once you achieve your wave reality, there's no limit to where Allah will send that light. That's only based on Allah If He allows the darajat of the light, that that light now is getting more powerful, we're allowing it to go into this realm that can talk above the maqam of Sayyidina Jibreel because their light is penetrating even deeper and deeper and deeper and as a result of penetrating they're retrieving, they're retrieving all the information through their light. And that's how this system operates. So when people come and sit, no matter through TV, video, this doesn't mean anything, we're talking about the seven heavens and above. What does a video and, and somebody sitting in Alabama have anything to do with it? That's so much more easier than what they're describing. As soon as people are sitting, their light is sending a signal, their data of the, the light of the shaykh is moving through all of them and picking up every signal and every necessity. Where their light is coming short is putting in, where their light is, is in excess, what they need to know, what they need to be protected from. That system is flowing and the one who reached the wave, it's not him, he's nothing. In his training to be nothing, he represented something. And in their nothingness they can achieve immense, immense realities. Because the one whom is sending the signal is reaching to everyone. So it means that madad that they teach, the madad that dressing them, the madad, the madad, the madad, the madad of all of these huge souls, their lights are flowing through them and reaching to everyone's code, reaching what they're in need of, not what they're asking from, what they're in need of. Because what they're asking, we said before, is what we would call a terrorist, but the, the computer is going to pick up a NSA. Your bad character inflicts terror upon your soul. The one who's talking all the time is the ego. They're not listening to egos and seeing what the ego has a question, the ego has this, the ego has a concern, the ego has a complaint. My goodness, that's not the way anyone would operate from the heavens. They're operating from the soul, right? They just need you to be humble enough to come forward to participate. Your soul is communicating with their light and saying that this zalim is doing this, this like this, this like this and the coordinates are coming and the najat is moving, the lights are flowing, the whatever realities have to be bestowed are happening. So then that's why the teaching was be nothing. Leave your particle existence, it achieves nothing, it benefits no one. Lot of particle talking but they can't reach anything or do anything. So the tariqahs come and teach that you have to be a waif. And all of the adab of tariqah is don't look to other people what you think they are or what they're thinking or not. But just understand the teaching from the shaykh is that you have to be nothing. You have to have achieved your wave reality. That did you isolate yourself, did you negate yourself, did you hide yourself and did you find yourself? If you negated yourself, isolated yourself, draw no attention to yourself, and then you went into find yourself, that you sat and meditated, 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 
upon all your characteristics, begin to battle them, ask for madad and support and energy to be dressing, dressing and blessing. As a result they were nothing, they're not visible in pictures, they're not known to anyone and they were not known to anyone and as a result they achieved a wave status. And they were sent into seclusion and then seclusion and seclusion so that their lights would be reinforced, reinforced, reinforced. And Allah shows that in nature and we talk about it all the time is that are you going to live your life as a seed or are you going to plant it in the soil? You know, the seeds can talk all they want but in the end it's just a seed, doesn't mean anything. But if that seed is trained in which it entered the soil and the soil began to rip it apart. So means they stay quiet when it's very difficult. Everybody to say this to them, that to them, this to them, it doesn't matter. That's all soil sort of crushing them. And everyone knows the stories of our own existence, there are obnoxious people always around, always casting horrible comments and that was our training, it was like a boxing match every week. Sit into a room and then the Mawlana would say, oh, okay say something and then they would start attacking, attacking, attacking everything. You just stay quiet, stay quiet, go home cry. That these are a bunch of clowns and what am I going to do with them? But you gave so much money you have nowhere to run, so I'll go back again tomorrow. And you go, you go, you go, you go until you rip to pieces and you have nowhere to run until the, the, the thought of running stopped, until you felt like you were already dying. It means it's been buried, it's been buried, it's been buried. They're not visible anywhere, we're not visible on any photo. They had an existence in which was non-existent, they didn't sign up to be existent. They wanted to reach to the presence of Prophet And the tariqahs come and teach that if you reach to that wave in which you isolate yourself and reach and find your character, make your muraqabah, make your connection, don't look left and right and say, I want to be like that, I want to be like this, I want to be like nothing. They would go and I told the, the, the gentleman, when they go to see a shaykh, they see him at his end state. So look, shaykh is talking everywhere, I want to be like that, I talk everywhere, I give everybody answers that mean nothing. No, no, look to the shaykh when he was training, not when he's in the position of, of his guidance. How was he trained? He was in no pictures. He paid for everything but he was not seen on anything. You can't find him in anything. He didn't want to be identified as anything. Go look to Shaykh Nazim and say, no, he has baklava and a tea and we all… and they would all sit like that with baklavas and teas and Shaykh would say that Shaykh Nazim was eating from the scraps of people in London. He was so upset with people throwing away things that he was taking them out and making people, eat these, eat these. How much he suffered, how much he went into seclusion. He went into seclusion, five-year-old daughter died and he didn't come out of seclusion. You quickly go and apologize to somebody and run for this and run for that out of fear and scared. They stayed in seclusion, they were men, they're lions of Allah Nothing interferes with Allah's command for them. Means look to their character, what they were, how they got to where they got to go. Means that when they trained to be a wave, everything was broken down, they achieved a wave status and each wave may be even stronger than the other. But they have to be a wave and only through their wave reality they'll be recruited by Prophet Doesn't matter what anyone says, you're this, you're that, you're Khalifa this, you're Khalifa that, this, that's all their own stuff. None of those titles matter until they're recruited by Prophet That your wave status is achieved and as a result you talk. Because of the strength that you have in your wave reality, with the ijazah we give you to talk, their particle form won't be confined by the eyes of people because they achieved the light, they achieved the wave. If you don't achieve the wave and you put yourself as particle, their eyes will lock you. 
And big shaykh in Pakistan was asked by his shaykh, you want particle or you want wave? You want to be zahiri ulama, external ulama or internal ulama? He said external means you're be locked by the eyes of people, you'll have no growth. I think now I think he realized he wants to be internal ulama. Went back to Rumi poetry. So as much as people grab you, nothing will happen. You can memorize books and an orator and you'll speak out what you memorized. But the reality of wave and malakut is that you achieved a light and it reached to them and your light like an energy is connected to us and transmitting. As a result of your light committed and, and transmitting to us, we're sending you fires and you're receiving. As a result of this connection, we're going to let you now to talk, represent us. Because you're connected to us, you're a connected individual, your ijazah says you're connected. As a result of that connection, they have that ability that the particle form means that when they're presenting themselves, people's eyes are not holding them to anything because they have their wave energy already is established and they can reach anywhere to anyone at any time. So their wave movement is always moving but their particle is being grasped by people and the people say, I only see him in the particle form. And the teacher will connect with your heart. If you grab him in his particle form and connect your heart, immediately that light of his wave will hit into your heart and you begin to see his wave reality. And that's what's important, that they'll hold you and begin to send you lights within your heart and into your being and in your soul and begin to energize you and build you. And if you take from their example that what they begin to send to you of lights and emanations, you stay quiet, don't show yourself so that they can dress you and annihilate you. As a result of that, there are students around the world who are achieving their wave reality. And that's all that's important, not the particle. The particles of no value to them. If they achieve the wave reality then from amongst those they'll be recruited and brought into the presence of Prophet and at that time they have a purpose and a reality. Means then from these they all have to be from the wave reality. From amongst these rijal who entered into their wave reality, some may be given service from Prophet that requires no talking. Right? So you have categories of abdal that are known and unknown. The budal whom they are the representatives that can be and hidden. So then in this category of understanding because they're all of their wave reality. The one that Prophet only from a few say, now you talk to represent us. But there are others whom Prophet says, no need for you to talk. Absolutely no one should know you. As a result of no one knowing you, their wave reality is not confined to anything and they're everywhere at all times. They can manifest 24,000 places at the same time, enter into any association and you don't even know who they are. As a result of not being observed, they serve the nation in that capacity. Understanding? So if people know you, you can't be like that. So, I just saw him in Indonesia, I looked at a photo, I just saw him in Alabama, I just saw him in Texas. It won't happen because that one's responsibility talking not from that reality. Then there are those of the abdal, nuqaba, you don't see them at all, you don't even know who they are and the reason you don't know and so that they're free to move in their wave format at any place, at any time, at anywhere. And they appear, you don't know how they appeared and they vanish and you don't know how they vanished because you don't know them. So there is no eye watching them. As a result of no eye watching them, they serve the nation in that specific understanding. 
They enter into your salah and begin to move into your heart to fix what's necessary and you don't even know their presence is there. They don't even have to manifest. That's why when you call upon Rijalullah, Allah has many tools at His disposal. Whatever you can think of dunya having, Allah has infinite more of its realities. So those Rijal whom are of a very powerful way of reality, when you're making du'a and asking at fajr time, making your, your madad, they're coming. You don't see their spirituality, you don't even see their waveform and they can be right in your face, moving right into your heart, correcting your lataifs, correcting everything that's wrong within your being. A sickness, they can come immediately to take that sickness away by its healing. They can come in a physical format. Shaykh Daghestani was one of the powerful ones of that reality. He said many times when he was younger, his shaykh was sending him places to do things. There was somebody who was sick with tuberculosis at that time, said, I was sent by my shaykh to an individual, I appeared, went to the individual, said, I've been sent for your shifa and your healing, you've been told to eat horse meat. And he began to eat the horse meat, they located where to get horse meat, he ate the horse meat to take away his tuberculosis. And then he said, immediately with that power I went back to my shaykh and I was being continuously dispatched. So means these taskiyatul awliya and the story of awliya there are many. They have a job, they have a purpose but the main point of tonight is that they all accomplished the wave reality. And that's why the tariqahs come, not just to bother people, be nothing, be nothing, be nothing. It's just you feel a pity if somebody is going to keep being a particle and they're not going to ever reach to their wave reality. So the tariqah comes to teach you losing the concept. The concept of this path is to be nothing. If you achieve that nothingness, Allah opens for you the science of it because the wave only moves as a wave when it's not observed. And you don't have the power of the observation until you're mature. So when you isolate, you've gone into now the first rule, you're not under observation but the angels are observing you and so they're keeping you to be locked because it takes a key. So as they're being blocked from observation, the Ya Rabbi not letting anyone to look to me and I'm taking a life in which to continuously be nothing, be nothing, be nothing. But the angels are watching you and that's when Allah wants clarification, what's their character? They have to reach to a level of purity in which their character has sincerity and Allah begin then to unlock. On which Allah taint the angels that this one, this rijal is sincere and no longer you have to observe, observe that individual, he will be responsible to observe himself and as a result he can enter his wave format at any time and the angels don't lock him to be under observation. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the immensity of what Allah has given wa lakal karam na bani adam that the immensity of what Allah has given, Subhanahu man huwa khalaq nur this is a month in which Allah opens the realities of lights and opens the realities of seclusions. And the, the bab and the gate of that reality, Imam Ali Salam, that muhabbat, that love, that ihtiram and respect is an immensity for the sword of nothingness. In ulul ahbab, the people of the door, their Imam is Imam Ali Salam teaching them that with my Zulfiqar take off their head, take off their bad character, take off their thinking, take off all that their nafs is saying and enter into this ocean of nothingness. He is the master of the wave reality, the one whom signs upon wilayat and sainthood for anyone to achieve it. The order must come from Atiullah. Ratiya Rasul and Ulur Am, he is the king of the Ulur Am to sign for that reality when an order comes from Prophet that this one is going to be in the training of nothingness. 
And when they achieve that nothingness then Imam Ali Salam has to sign its certificate of sainthood. And this is from Imam al-Rahbani in the Naqshbandi Tariqah confirming, we pray that Allah dress us, bless us with the immensities of the Tariqah, the immensity of the Holy Companions, the immensity of all the Ahlul Bayt, all awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard and what Allah has given to this Muhammadan kingdom inshaAllah Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammadan Mustafa. بسر سورة الفاتحة